What's going on, everybody? Ezri Rosier here. I'm wearing this mask today because while I was in the kitchen, I slipped, busted my lip on the edge of a table. So that's what's going on with this. But anyway, our old pal is returning to the NFC East. The Indianapolis Colts have traded Carson Wentz to the Washington Commodes. This is funny because I knew that this was going to happen. I'm in a bunch of these Eagles groups. Last month, I was posting in these Eagles groups all over Facebook that I had a weird feeling Carson Wentz would be playing for the Washington Commodes next. I saw this coming because Washington loves picking up our former players. Washington loves scraping up our leftovers. Sony Jurgensen, Donovan McNabb, Deshaun Jackson, Jeremiah Trotter. They even picked up James Thrash. That terrible wide receiver we had back in the early 2000s, James Thrash. Washington picked him up. In fact, I think that James Thrash is actually still employed with Washington. I think he's like a receivers coach or something like that. So crazy how this situation played out. So Eagles trade Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts. And most people, myself included, thought this was going to be a huge success. He was reunited with our former offensive coordinator, Frank Reich, who we won the Super Bowl with. The Indianapolis Colts have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL, something that Wentz sorely lacked during his final season in Philadelphia, 2020. And the Colts had a strong running game. People thought this was a match made in heaven. People thought that Frank Reich was going to rebuild Carson Wentz. And, well, things didn't go to plan. Things didn't go according to plan, to say the least. So, statistically speaking, Carson Wentz had a solid 2021 season. He threw 27 touchdowns and 7 interceptions, but the stats don't tell you when those turnovers happen. The stats don't tell you how, during a critical game against the Tennessee Titans, Wentz threw a pick six late in that contest. He proceeded to throw another interception in overtime of that game. The Colts lost to the Titans a second time. They were swept by the Tennessee Titans. And then that final game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, that final game, the season finale against the Jacksonville Jaguars, to lose to a two-win Jaguars team. A two-win Jaguars team beat the Colts with a playoff berth on the line. That, that's devastating. That is a devastating way to end the season. So the Colts front office, they're looking over this turn of events, and they just said, we are not running this back. We don't need to see another year of this. So they shipped Carson Wentz off to Washington. The Eagles had a game against the Colts coming up this year, so we were going to see Carson Wentz anyway, but now the Philadelphia Eagles will be playing Carson Wentz twice a year. The Philadelphia Eagles will be facing their former MVP caliber quarterback twice a year. This is going to be a fun season. This is going to be very interesting. So I had two games picked out that I was going to go to this season. Our home game against the Jacksonville Jaguars because that's going to be Doug Peterson's return to the link. He's now the coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And our road game against the Arizona Cardinals. That game might actually end up being in Mexico, so keep your eye on that. But this Washington game, I have to go to this. I have to go to this Washington game at the link. I, I can't even imagine, I can't even begin to imagine the reaction that Carson Wentz is going to get at Lincoln Financial Field. I, it's, I was going to probably go to that Vikings game because I was thinking about a third game against the Minnesota Vikings at home, the Justin Jefferson game. But nah, nah, this Washington game, it takes priority over that. And listen, so I know Carson Wentz, he is very unpopular in our fan base right now. But personally, I, I don't have a grudge against Carson Wentz. I still appreciate what he was able to accomplish in 2017. I'm grateful for his MVP caliber play during that season because if Carson Wentz hadn't played the way he did that year, if Carson Wentz hadn't gone 11-2 and in those 13 games he played before getting hurt against the Los Angeles Rams, we wouldn't have been the number one seed. And without that number one seed, can, can you really say that we reached the Super Bowl? I know that Foles finished the job, but we needed both of them. We needed Carson Wentz and Nick Foles. So Carson Wentz, no hard feelings. Welcome back to the NFC East, but I'm looking forward to beating you twice a year. Carson Wentz, I still think that Wentz can be a decent quarterback. I still think that he has talent, but as we saw in 2021, Carson Wentz is still prone to those disastrous mistakes at the worst time possible. You can't throw that pick six against the Tennessee Titans. You can't fumble against the Jacksonville Jaguars when a win gets you into the playoffs. That can't happen. His decision-making and crucial situations, it leaves a lot to be desired. But we'll see what happens. 2022 just got way more interesting. So 
Take care and go birds.